Washington, most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their claw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Welcome to the Law Starter Boxing, aka The Lab. I am your host, Peter God. And today we're going to be talking about Josh Taylor fighting Teofimo Lopez instead of Jack Catterall. What if I told you that I agree with the decision Josh Taylor made? First off, uh, we hear about this news. It's coming in pretty recently uh, in the last week or so. And Josh Taylor coming in and we hear the rumors that him and Teofimo Lopez are in negotiations with a fight. And then we get the WBO coming a little bit later and ordering it. It kind of got the boxing, the boxing fans kind of riled up. You got most of what I'm hearing, people don't like it. That they feel like Josh Taylor ducking Jack Catterall. Some some feel like it was whatever. I me personally, I, I feel like Josh Taylor pretty much Josh Taylor pretty much think the fight is bigger harder fight than Catterall. Last we heard that Josh Taylor had a foot injury. He was going to be sitting out, going to come back and fight Catterall. But in the midst of that, we hear about the negotiations and then ultimately these guys possibly fighting in the summer. Now, they first fought last year in February where a lot of people feel Jack Catterall won. They felt like corruption. It was a robbery. And the fight went to be uh, announced. They was going to fight in January. I want to say it got pushed back due to the Liam Smith and, and Chris Eubank fight. And Josh Taylor tore tendon in his foot, so they said, which forced him to push back the fight again. Now, so instead of them announcing a new date for Catterall and Josh Taylor, the WBO mandated whatever they did because... Uh, a lot of people looking at it crazy that we don't really know how it's going on. We thinking this, the other fight was solid. Then we hear this, and Josh Taylor go on, to, and Josh Taylor go on to pretty much make the fight. It was already said they was in deep negotiations even before the WBO made the announcement. Josh Taylor he told our Sports that you know he had to fight Teofimo Lopez or he was going to lose his WBO strap. He said that's his last strap and he not and he and he want to keep it. You know, he's not going to lose. So he said if he would have went and fought Jack Catterall, they would be fighting for no straps. You know what I mean? So he went on, he said it was out of his control. But he said the fight with he said the fight with uh, Teofimo Lopez was bigger. It's a bigger fight than a Catterall fight. It's a better fight than a Catterall fight said T.O. fought uh, better opponents. He, he's, he's been in harder fights. He said he a higher level. He said he, he been in there with better fighters. And he said T.O. Fimo, he, he been doing business. He said T.O. Fimo sell t-shirts and shit like that. You know, <laughs> me personally, I feel like I, I like that fight better than a Catterall fight. I'm going to be honest. Some people will sit back and they'll say, this what's wrong with boxing. You know, they letting them come straight out and duck Catterall and all this, this, and that. Man, as far as I remember, man, the record books say he beat Catterall. Whether people think it was a robbery or it wasn't, and man, they said he won. And then they was going to fight the rematch. Man, I had Josh, I had Josh Taylor win it in the rematch. I didn't think Jack Catterall was going to be able to come back and do the same thing. You know, Josh Taylor won, you know. Uh, lost people, you know, got got Catterall winning nine three, you know, uh, eight four, you know, uh, a, a clear margin. A lot of people I talk to, you know, but man, Josh Taylor, they gave Josh Taylor the win, man. The rematch, the shit, it, it done got postponed so many times, man. I, I will rather see, uh, much rather see Tia Fimo Lopez and Josh Taylor. Because Teofimo Lopez going around here, he talking big and bad and this and that. Man, I want to see him get in there. I want to see him get in there with Josh Taylor. I think it's a hell of a fight. You know, that they both got decent names. You know, uh, Teofimo Lopez in this last fight with Sander Martin. Some say he didn't look too good. I, I wasn't 
too big on the performance. I didn't think he looked too good. I didn't think he cut the ring off. I didn't think he used his jab very much. And it was clips in the fight. He's sitting there talking about, do I still have it? This and that. So it's a lot of questions, you know, with him even going into a Josh Taylor fight. And I think a lot of questions are going to be answered. A lot of questions are going to be answered on both sides. Is Josh Taylor drained? Last time we seen Josh Taylor, he looked drained. Now we talking about over a year later, he's still at the weight class and trying to fight at a high caliber. So I want to see how Josh Taylor looked in the instant as well as Tiafimo. And I do think, you know, the better man going to come out and win that fight. I don't know who possibly will win right now. I'm edging Josh Taylor. But remember, I just said in his last fight, he looked very drained. And that was one of the reasons why he said he didn't, he didn't look so good with look so good fighting Catterall in the first place, bad weight cut and all that. So now he's supposedly coming off of this foot injury. He fighting uh, Teofimo Lopez. And I want to see how it goes down, see what it looked like. Now, when a fight date come, venue, all that, you know, cue to God, lost all the boxing. I'm going to be back with you, letting y'all know what's going on. But we out.